As the internet loses its collective minds when it comes to topics such as Asmongold's take on AI generation and consumer spending habits, all the way down to layoffs and acquisitions. Obviously, that is what's dominating the news, but there's a sleeping giant uh, going on under the surface. If you guys aren't aware, press have not received uh, review codes uh, for the upcoming game, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And I wanna let you guys know, I will be reviewing this game. I have decided, based off of many convincing arguments by my co-host Kirk with the Epic Loot Radio podcast, that we're gonna sit down and we're gonna play this game. And so I have pre-ordered the game, but that is the money that I'm willing to risk. And I wanna give you this information because I hope this game is great. However, when you have things where press do not get codes and the reviews aren't going to be out before the game is, that is just a red flag. It doesn't guarantee the game will be bad, but it's something that you need to be aware of because there's gonna be a lot of money spent over the next couple of days to get you to spend your money. That's how marketing works. That's why they spend the money. And that's why we're talking about it in this video. And we will be also doing a co-lab review as in an upcoming episode of the Epic Loot Radio podcast if you're interested. If you guys haven't heard of the podcast, you want to find it as a part of any podcast service that you have, top link in the description will get you to every service the podcast is on so you can listen at your convenience and discretion wherever wherever podcasts are found. Anyway, I want to sit down today and tell you guys some expectations that I have for the upcoming game, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. As a games as a service game, and as somebody who actually enjoys that style of game, that's the inherent bias that you're gonna get in my upcoming review. Namely because this is kind of the thing that I enjoy. And I've been waiting and watching on the sidelines because the games as a service game isn't actually about how it launches. While that's important, it's about how it sustains itself. And the biggest risk, and one of the reasons why people are naturally and hopefully hesitant before jumping in is that games of service ask a lot of time from the player and the promise is that this is going to be a game that they can spend time and time and time again with in the coming months and years however if people don't play the game you tend to see them shut down and then the game becomes gone like it's it's a real problem of digital preservation uh, that we're having in our modern age but it's something that it's weird because you need people to go through the gate. And so I'm telling you, I'm going to go through the gate. I've put my hundred dollars on the line. I will be reviewing this so that way you don't have to, and you can wait to get somebody who likes games of service feedback. So whether this game ends up being amazing, somewhere in between amazing and hot garbage, or just hot garbage in and of itself, I'm going to let you know. And hopefully, hopefully the game's good. Cause I just put a hundred dollars down on it. Kirk, I hope we have fun with this game. If you're listening to this, Kirk, uh, if not, oh my gosh, dude, but I digress. And that's one of the things that makes reviewing these kind of games so difficult. We see this with any MMO RPG, any games of service game is that reviewers tend to just put in time at the start of the game and the review score ends up being the review score. So looking at it in six months or nine months, you really don't get a good picture on if they are actually servicing the game like they say they will. Now, that is unfortunately a function of time. So I like to, and this is just gonna be my strategy, is give you guys the initial review and then ultimately follow it up as the game progresses. So if you guys enjoy that kind of content, if you like my kind of take on video games, reporting and media, be sure to like and subscribe and that way you don't miss a video like this. That all being said, we got, we got so much more coming up on the channel. I'll just give you guys, for those of you who are interested, uh, kind of a brief summary of what to kind of expect next week. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink uh, launches uh, as a part of Early Access this weekend. I'm going to be playing that. Then we go into next week with Justice League. I've also picked up Enshrouded and Pal World. So those are going to be some games I'm going to jump into, see if I can't put together a couple of my guides on the coming games as I continue to recover. I've been uh, dealing with uh, bronchitis for like the last week and I'm finally starting to feel like my old normal self again. Anyway, guys, no need to make this video longer than it has to be. Hopefully you got something good out of it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But until then, take care.